time in this room. Okay. So yeah, do we? Have, do you have a microphone? Or how are we going to do this? Definitely, definitely. So one of the reasons why such high things are also given is to cause us to be inspired to make the determination to reach those stages. You see? It's just like, you know, advertising. So you hear that there's going to be a sale on and you can get this particular product, it's got all these special features or it's about to come out, it's a new technology that no one's had before. It, it, you haven't got it right now. But when you hear about it, you become attracted. So when we hear about these stages, especially with a sincere mind, it can build the determination. I want to, reach, I want to attain this. I was actually looking at, um, I was looking at this book, Sankalpa Kulmodi, by Solani Shiv Ramaj, and he talks about Sankalpa having these different like, determinations, right? So, vows. And the, and the idea was that as we're able to move forward by progressive targets, let's say, or goals, right? So first I want to, I, I start here, I want to be regulated in this activity. And then from here I want to, you know, you know read the entire Bhagavatam and then from here, like that. So the idea is that we want to make steps towards the ultimate destination. In fact, that's just one thing that I might ask you to do as, as, a, as a practice is to just think of one goal, practical goal that can, ha that can help you, not something far off, a next step. What's the next step for me? For one person, it's, you know what, the next step for me is to um, you know, do all my rounds in the morning. That's one goal. For someone else, the next step for me is to do Bhakti Shastri, to really understand the philosophy. For someone else, the next step is I should regularly do, a, I should commit to doing a regular service. Right? But it's this idea, I know what the ultimate goal is, and as you said, sometimes these stages can be very far off, but I should know where I am, and what's the next step that's going to move me in that direction. So by this progressive stepping forward, then what seems like completely at a distance, over time it can actually be attained. And remembering, as, as we've emphasized here, Krishna will help the devotee. He's prepared to reciprocate. He will reciprocate. Yeyatamam prapadyante. As you surrender to me, I reward you accordingly. That's what he says. You know? But that surrender means, if I'm, how much am I giving? Because as I'm giving more, he's reciprocating more as well. You know? So does that answer your question? Okay. I don't know if Marge, if you wanted to comment or say anything. Yeah, but... To, Do you have any other questions, comments? Who else has their hands up? Yeah, so whoever has a mic, if you can, de you can decide who. You mentioned about lower mentioning about shifting from enjoyer to servant. Yes. And to inviting this in our lives so we can. Can you play any just uh, approach this topic called we are hesitant to serve? Mm -hmm. And if you're not really kind of letting ourselves like into the mood of service and just uh, trying it out uh, without hesitation, we will not get the experience of the servant and we will maybe not get such a faith in that. Yeah, so one of the reasons why we're hesitant to serve is we don't understand the joy of service. 
We think that there's actually more joy in trying to enjoy the material world, but we have to remember everything in the material world has that up and down quality, has its duality. So the same thing that someone's trying to enjoy today can be the exact cause of their suffering tomorrow. I, I'll be honest with you, I know devotees who can tell, they can very easily see, right, this person's doing this, I know it's going to cause them to suffer. They can see it, because they can actually just tell the way that this is being done, it seems to be going up, but that means it's going to come crashing down later on. You know? By developing the service mentality, we're actually protecting ourselves. I've seen it. To the extent that one has a service mentality, and we said this before, the material energy actually responds differently to that person. Yeah? There's a, there's a purple where Prabhupada is talking about how Ravana tried to steal Sita, right? So Ram's energy. And so because Ravana tried to steal Sita, tried to, take, tried to separate Ram from his energy, the point was that he was always going to be destroyed. It's this picture it's behind us is a real wonderful depiction of that. You know? So when one tries to... Yeah, both pictures. This one also, because Ravana has been killed here. So the whole point is, yeah, and this is yeah, him um, trying to take Sita away. That, that, that's, that's is, is symbolic also. You, if you try to take Krishna's energy away from Krishna, it, it never goes well. But when we're chanting, for example, what's a chanting? Hare Krishna. You're bringing Krishna's energy, you're re reuniting Krishna and his energy. And that's a source of complete satisfaction and fulfillment. So these are, these are the two options. Yeah? If you are not fully enthusiastic and joyful to serve, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the deep realization of your service. Not exactly. Yes and no. So it's like this. We will not be fully enthusiastic in the beginning. Right? And it may take a while to, <laughs> to be fully enthusiastic. But there's where we are and there's our aspiration. Yeah? It's just like this. You want to, go, you want to get to a particular destination. You're, you're not there yet. But if you're, if you're determined to get there, you know how to drive, and you're driving in the right direction, you can be assured of, assured of success. If you're getting there under the guidance of someone who's already ahead of you, that will help you even more. Because they've already traversed that particular path. They can tell you, watch out here, there's a sharp left, right? Here you have to drive slowly because the road is a little bit slippery. They can give you all kinds of additional advice and guidance to, so that you can actually get there even more smoothly than they did because they've already traversed that distance for you. Right? So that's the idea of guidance from, from devotees. But yes, it's about the determination. Even if I haven't realized it, but I understand it. By hearing now I understand this is the direction to go into. And every time I move in that direction, I get more and more confirmation. Yep. I get more and more realization that I'm on the right track and I'm experiencing some of the experiences of the destination. Yeah. Does that answer your question? You have to cut? Okay. So what we'll do is, we'll, and maybe the last class, we'll, we'll start with some Q&A so that there'll be some time, then we'll go on from there. Cause tomorrow yeah, and tomorrow we have, uh, yeah, tomorrow we have uh, like an hour and a half for, for questions and answers as well. I was told to say that. <laughs> so, I'm joking. But it's, but it's true. It's true. So, yeah, we'll, so we'll stop there. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Sri Shastakam Ki Jai. Janita Gaur Pramanandi. Hari Hari Bo.